James Whale, James Whale, a hero. We listen every night to hear your sweet and smooth tones. Just set the soul alight. We leave the other DJ cold. No. You sure you've got a little spot just there? No, no, that's, that's a mole. Oh, it's a mole. <laughs> oh. I mean, are you sure, are you sure you're completely... Um, I'm completely clear now. Completely clear, good. I haven't seen you for eight. You've been ignoring me for ages. What have you no. got written across your chest here? The Pogues. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we were with them in Oslo on uh, Sunday night. Uh-huh. So. You see, I mean, you left me. You went off, you did that, that, that bit on the television in the, uh, in the, in the car, <laughs> running, around, um, <laughs> running around Leeds, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you went on Friday Live... Was it Saturday Live? Friday Night Live, Night Live yeah. Friday Night Live. And I mean, you just... And then you appeared in The Times. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And Vogue. And Vogue. Yeah. And in... Get Fresh. And in... Uh, Get Fresh. <laughs> and most newspapers. And doesn't... Don't, they don't come see me anymore. Oh, no, that was only because... Because, because we were so busy. That's... Oh, we, that sent, we sent you postcards. You did. I have a whole collection of postcards. Yeah. I have some of them here. Even the rude ones. <laughs> said, yeah. So, I mean, what's happening? Uh, just so busy. Yeah, uh, it's been really busy, but you know, it's been great mm. fun. It's like we just got back from Norway and Denmark mm -hmm. and Lapland. We actually spent Lapland. Saturday night in um in a teepee after playing to a, sort of like God knows how many mm. hundreds of people in this teepee eating reindeer meat <laughs> in the Arctic Circle. In reindeer, in reindeer meat. The eating. No, eating. Oh, eating, eating reindeer, reindeer meat, reindeer yeah. meat yeah. in yeah. the Arctic Circle. Yeah, it's like beef. I've had reindeer. Yeah, it was so really, it was mm. really, yeah, it was really. Shapes very different. <laughs> it all shrivels up. Yeah, it really shrivels up, and it's it's um, weird. <laughs> you're supposed to oh, control sorry. them, aren't you? That's yeah. good listening. Yeah, <laughs> really. Anyway, you'll be quite used to sleeping in tents because I believe you did a lot of that, of course, at home, wasn't it? Tents. I mean, yes. Last time, no. Last time no, we last talked. Time, no, we yeah, last time you were. Oh, that been was in a field. Yeah, you've been in a field, slept rough in a field. Yeah, mm. that was Your mother finds out. You know, you'll be in she dead knows, lumber. She knows. She knows. We we tell her everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you sent me in some uh, some are these T-shirts. Yeah, yeah. Calling card. They're big, aren't they? Extra large. Well, very nice. Big, aren't well, you? okay, it's very <laughs> very sweet of you. Very yeah, very from nice. DNA in Leeds. Are they? DNA in Leeds. DNA in Leeds. Yes, that's just in case anybody wanted that's to know where they could get them. Open it. Shall I open what it? it says? Yeah. Well, okay, well I'll open them. <laughs> and, uh, we'll see what it says. Perhaps you can sign one of them and we'll give one away, shall we? Okay. That'll be nice. Okay. okay. Right. The uh, the T-shirt, which is in very fashionable extra-large size and has lips all over it, it says, The Rhythm Sisters Calling Card. You have been lipsticked. <laughs> Do you think that up? Who thought nah. that up? <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Yes, of course, the red lips have... Um, have become a bit of a trademark, haven't they? Because mm. we yeah. just leave them on everybody. You do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know anymore. That really has depressed me. OK, well, listen, you settle back and have a cup of coffee or something. In a bit, you're going you're gonna to sing the song beer? for me. Or, oh, OK. <laughs> have, a, have a beer. Have you got some beer? Yeah, yeah. we brought oh. you one in, Jane. You don't go anywhere without beer. Do you know, these, I mean, they're very young. They're, 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 they're still teenagers, are they? Um, well, no, I'm, I'm 20. You're 20 now, yeah. yeah? And they go everywhere with a, a pint pot of beer <laughs> in their hand. And their brother who sits here, who looks after them, and he rules them with a rod of iron. <laughs> I mean, I could tell their brother things about them. They just uh, they say, no, please don't. <laughs> I mean, they just behave when he's around. Have you been travelling with them? Because you, you play guitar. Yeah, I play guitar. I manage as well, so I go around to sort things yeah? as well. Have, have they been any trouble or not? Not at all. They've been very, very professional, Jim. They have. Been good. Able to move with it. Good, good. Because the first time I met them and, and their brother, I thought he was a bouncer. Mm. I mean, he looks like a bouncer. <laughs> 
I found out he's no, a very... No, the secret is, you see, we just get him drunk. Yeah. Leave him slumped in a corner and we go off <laughs> and cause havoc round all these towns. I don't believe a word of that. Uh, yeah. Have you seen these? <laughs> what are those? Flip the neck. <laughs> we, we got them. <laughs> Dave Davis will kick you in the head tonight. This is, this is steel toe cap boot here. Look, look at that. <laughs> this is a man who during the day works as a teacher. Mm. Uh, Not anymore. Not anymore? No. You've given that up? Yeah. Why? Um, music comes first. Yeah, music comes first. I'm oh, very sad to hear that. I mean, you had a you had a very responsible job. Absolutely, but this one's even more responsible. Is it? Yeah, it's more demanding. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I, sh I shouldn't tell really, but he was a head teacher, wasn't he? <laughs> he doesn't look like it. <laughs> you ought to see him in action. You ought to see him in action. He was an actual headmaster of a school. No, not no, quite. Head, head of sixth form. Head of sixth form. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe it to look at him now, would you? No. Yeah. I mean, for people who can't really see because they can't, their imagination is not quite good. I always think he's a sort of jolly version of Lurch, <laughs> out of the Munsters. <laughs> That's a very good. He's yeah, I mean, he a great Lurch impersonation. Yeah, I just throwing a guitar into a hedge. <laughs> did he? Yes. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. True. Right, we're going to take a couple of phone calls whilst you relax and unwind. See if we can talk them into doing uh, America. They don't like. I don't suppose you like American boys. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but um. Yeah. Has Chris we got the guitar? We thought we'd you a few new ones. Oh, okay, okay. So you'd be the first. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, American Boys must have been around for now two or three years, is it? It seems only like on that no. on Only on demos. Yeah. yeah. And we made all this really big noise about it when we first mm. wrote it. We had no intentions of releasing it, really, did we? Hard luck. Just... You would like me not to talk about it. Absolutely. Okay. Button up, James. Sorry about, the <laughs> right, sorry about that. Right, okay. Yeah, he shouldn't hang on his G so much. <laughs> oh, I do. Uh, I emphasize those because that's what all the singers do. Oh, no. You, oh. Oh, you see, yeah, but it's not very fashionable now, Philip, to <coughs> hang on your G. Well, it's, I find it very Apparently. much better to do that because if I do not hang on to my Gs, like I'm, I'm always uh, emphasising other people to do. Yeah, oh yeah, yes, yes, well, I suppose, yes, I suppose, you don't want to... Because there's not many people that do emphasise their Gs and songs. Yeah, but no. ask him, this is what he'll get if he goes to a singing teacher, oh, they'll say, if he, when you're singing and you say sing, Yes. you don't go sing Yeah. You say sing. Yeah. Yeah, listen to this, Philip, and, and learn. Philip, until we meet again, goodbye. <laughs> Adieu. We'll take a break. <laughs> when? Heavy music. Heavy music. Yeah. Steve Jones. Yeah. Steve Jones behind him on guitar. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Sex Pistols. Yes, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Quite okay. interesting. He sees himself more as, a, as, a, as a, an, an Elvis Presley. Mm. I wonder if he looks like Elvis. <laughs> That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, tell him to send a photo in. Yeah, send a photo. Philip, send me a photograph. Oh, that's yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. You don't want me to play this uh, American Boys then? I was just going to play it, yeah. Yeah, sure. you can do if you want. <laughs> oh, am I doing it a minute? I'm just, you know, I've got a bit of, you know, you're not going to be upset with me if I play it. No. Oh, oh good, In okay. fact, we'll give you a tenner. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it twice, then. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've been to any gigs. Oh, right. You stop picking things. Sorry. I should think so. Back after this. Uh, new listeners in the North West. Before this program was broadcast coast to coast, uh, Mandy and Debbie used to come in quite often from time to time when they, they were just sort of getting together these songs. They used to sing that one and lots of other songs which became real favourites of mine. And, uh, of course, they got big time, you know, <laughs> written about in the, in, the, uh, in the Times and that was it. On that record, which uh, they sang probably one of the first yeah, broadcasts was on this programme, yeah. and uh, now it's out as a single. Mm -hmm. Which is a bit, I suppose, to a certain extent, an anti-climax after you've heard it for so long and, and played <laughs> it so many times. I wonder how the Beatles felt. I know, I always think that as well. Yeah. No, but I mean, can you do our be... days night. <laughs> can you play our days night? <laughs> yeah. The thing about American Boys was, luckily, it was, it was a remix from the LP, mm. so it's not as bad listening to it again because it is is new on the ears. Mm. So. And is it selling? Yeah. Seems to be, yeah. Mm. It's difficult yeah. with a small, ra oh, that's Red Rhino Records, it's always yeah. difficult to, to it's get the kind hard. of promotion. And yeah, stuff, isn't that's it? right, yeah. it's very hard. Mm -hmm. But luckily, it's doing well to say that we're on an independent label. Okay. It's getting daytime radio one play. Is it? Do you mind not doing that in here? Just wash your flipping <laughs> mouth, please. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's getting James Whale national play. <laughs> yes, all right. Boots <laughs> on like that, sitting here. <laughs> Could keep them under some sort of control. Well, it's hard. <laughs> yes, I know. Now, shall we uh, 
<laughs> oh, dearie, dearie. Yeah. You're me again. I mean, <laughs> they used to come in with some of the most ridiculous. They told me they paid £30 for a pair of jeans which had rips all the way up. <laughs> I've only got one in now. And everybody wears them now. Mm. Yeah. Don't you see that? that Trend setting. A year ago, you see. Yeah. Dr. Martins with steel toe caps. Yep, yeah. Very fashionable. Yeah, but we were doing it years ago. Yep. OK, well, let's have, let's have a, a new song. Where, where are you uh, not ready to I play it? I think he's tuning the guitars. Is he tuning the guitars? Yeah. Well, OK, while yeah. he's tuning the guitars, I've got a little bit here I want to read out that uh, I'd like some response from, because this is a killer. Uh, loony lefties, apparently, have uh, dumped jocular posters promoting an anti-litter drive because they say that they're sexist. But last night, MPs told the left-wingers that they were talking rubbish. Thousands of posters about Bradford Council's free rubbish collections are now gathering dust after Labour sex equality officers decided one cartoon was offensive. You know, you, you should tell me if it's <laughs> offensive. You can hear the uh, tuning up outside. It showed a workman carrying off a granny in an armchair. What? <laughs> well, I, presumably the granny was littering the place up. Remember, take, <laughs> take your litter home with you. Oh, and apparently these people who, of course, take life terribly, terribly serious, oh, they, oh, wanted them banned. Oh, dear. Yeah, they're probably the sort of people who support these posters all over the place saying, you have just entered a nuclear-free zone. <laughs> Never mind about the nuclear-free zone, worry about the acid rain. <laughs> Where you've been, they've got a lot of acid rain over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Strips the pine trees, makes mm. them all look brown mm. and nasty and horrible. Mm. What a ridiculous thing. I do hope some of those people in Bradford uh, who've, who've uh, complained about that really think about it, look at themselves and learn to laugh at themselves. Anybody out there got any views, give us a call. Uh, John. Neil. Deborah. I beg your pardon? Yes, John. How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> Should we have a song? Because uh, John and Neil are not there. Yeah, they're not there. No, they're not there. They probably Where are. Where are you, but, John? You know. Where are you, Neil? Yes, <laughs> I know. We'll come back to them in a few moments. So, shall we? Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, is that Sister microphone? Veronica. Sister who? Sister Veronica. Sounds like a nice girl. Yeah. Is she? Well, can you remember the Quarry Hill Flats in Leeds? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's all about kind of that place because oh, it got yeah. kind of trashed down and everything. Don't you think, I mean, I don't know, but, but don't you feel that singing songs about a part of the country is going to cut you off from a large amount of, uh, of audience? No, because it doesn't actually, because... Um, Do you want to sing on this microphone over well, here? I, I yeah. think also yeah. because it's the songs that we write about mm. relate to every, every every in in every town, in every... Mm. Sort of like country, really. Uh -huh. so. uh -huh. In the corner, on the floor. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody brings McDonald's. Yeah. <coughs> so I'll tell you a story about McDonald's. Uh, thank you. Just sit it. down there, be quiet, <laughs> and behave yourself, and no jokes. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. This is all about Sister Veronica, who used to live in Quarry Hill Flats, yeah. which is near <coughs> where Jimmy Savile was brought up. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Well, yeah. he may be listening. You know, he's just sort of You're dedicated never... to him. Right. <laughs> Take it away. Two. Oh, 
Oh, very nice. Thank you very Thank much. You. Right. <clears throat> there we are, Rhythm Sisters and Sister Veronica. We'll take a break back after this. Here right. with us, you don't have to rush off just yet, do you? No. no good, good. We'll settle that. Put your feet right. up for a minute. Right. Can another... we just say hello to Peter and Anne, who live next door to us? Because they actually... <laughs> Peter came round and knocked us up the other night. <laughs> oh, when I was being rude about you? Yeah, yeah. we were yeah. being rude about us, and if it wasn't for them... Yeah. So, hi, Peter and Anne. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What do you mean they were asleep and not listening to my show the other night? Yeah, we were knackered. Oh, no, we're knackered yeah. Please, Lang I mean, Sorry. I'm going to have to have a word with you afterwards. Sorry. You're just picking up his... You we picking were bushed. Up, you... <laughs> bushed. <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of our uh, new words. Yeah. Bushed. Yeah. That means something very rude in America. <laughs> anyway, listen. <laughs> can we just, before we take another call, let me just say that tomorrow night, uh, David Gardino is going to be on the phone to me from Tennessee. Now, David Gardino is a psychic to the stars, all right? Uh, he's a psychic that the stars all consult. He was Elvis Presley's personal psychic. He removed a curse on President Reagan, and he held a search, or seance, come read, at Graceland's, and he's the leading psychic in the U.S., all right? He uh, uses psychokinesis... Can, can, can I some, say it for me, Max? Psychokinesis. Psychokinesis, that's it. Uh, He's tomorrow night. Tomorrow. 11.15 tomorrow night. Oh, okay, really? he's a telekinetic energy expert. Oh. And it's all exciting. So really? who knows what we can get generated between us <laughs> over there. Now, there is, there is a kind of similarity, yeah. but I'd far rather have you in the studio <laughs> than them. I mean, I sure, would, sure. you know. Thank you very much indeed, Kim. <laughs> okay, You're causing trouble. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, I'd like to go back there. It'd be nice. Listen, will you stop talking about this new fingerprinting sort of stuff? You mean DNA? Yeah. 
DNA. That's what they do to tell whether or not you've been up to no good, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you keep up with the news, you see. They do. Ralph. Uh, we were at a football match in um, just outside of Oslo the other, the other day, and we just couldn't believe it. It was like just a joke, wasn't it? As in the playing. But it, it was their first division, wasn't um, yeah. Their first division their playing. First and the people flown down sort of like 600 miles to go to this football match. Mm. There was no police present. There was no violent. Well, like, the only oh, violent thing that happened was Careful. the eggs got thrown. <laughs> it was like these eggs got thrown. Mm. And that was it. And we just couldn't believe it. There was, And as we, we came out of the stadium, if you can call it a stadium, we walked along and we were all going, there was like hundreds of people going towards the train. There was no police. There was no trouble. Nothing, and all, nothing. Um, from different different supporters from each mm. team. We're all friends. And we're walking along. It was you know. like all the stands were mixed. You were stood next to somebody who was supporting one team. And we were families like, as well. That's yeah, right. it was all families. Mm. It was great. It was like a family outing. It was really it, good. Really good up there. The football was comedy. No, like, <laughs> <laughs> we were getting together. We, 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 we were just in a... Football, but yeah. Their football was just comedy, yeah. wasn't it? I can't. Bursting out laughing we were just in the stones. It's like I it can't understand why you were at a football match anyway in Norway. Well, why not? Oh. <laughs> family entertainment, we're all family. <laughs> Did you, did you but, but, but no trouble at all? No, no, no. it was we were, brilliant. Uh, to be fair, I've got to tell you why we were there. We were selling t-shirts from DNA. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And badges. Well, there we are, Michael. It looks like uh, Norway lead the way. All the time. I'm a very good football Gosh, my, I'm sorry about that. Yes. I'll tell you something. Yeah. When we were in Norway, me and Debbie could have kicked them people to pieces. <laughs> then football players would have been thank dead you. if we'd have gone thank the Thank you. Pitch. Thank you, Debbie. Right. Well, Michael, you can see the trouble you've caused me now. Thank you. It was actually William, but nice William, to William, thank you for your call. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I don't know why we got the names wrong. Thank you very much indeed. We'll take a break back after this. Sling tonight. The James Wales Show is on Red Rose and Air. As you know, my guests in the studio are the Rhythm Sisters, and uh, we'll be hearing from them in a few moments, you right? Just sit down and behave yourself now for a moment. It's causing trouble at the moment. Gloria, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm. I should be doing other things next. I should be doing What's On Items. I should be doing the WI's Jam Making Contest and all the other sort of stuff. Yeah, DNA. And a DNA competition. We're going to... DNA in Leeds, isn't you? We're going to... Yeah, the one thing... We're going to take a break. <clears throat> you join us back here. We have a, a problem here with a man who has a complex. <laughs> Mandy and Debbie's brother, who, who looks after them, travels around and plays guitar for them, <clears throat> who used to be a really exciting and interesting teacher and gave it all up so that he could look after them, feels perhaps a little bit let out, left out of it and I'm concerned about him actually girls because he does he, mm. he doesn't get the, the kind of the limelight that you do <laughs> oh, I don't know he does are you sure I he, think does. he does he does he's yeah. just as big and mouth so, do, so does Chris as well who you haven't mentioned I haven't mentioned Chris where is Chris yeah. yes no, I think oh, he's, he's still tuning up oh. is he still tuning up that's yeah. why we haven't mentioned him he so. looks like you as well he look I mean you're yeah. not related are you no <laughs> well no well could you control What's it? What's happening in the corner? Can we have some control? <laughs> Go on. Um, yeah. Wow. Right. <laughs> no, because no. the reason why we... Yeah. Mm. I know. Well, Chris is just like... He plays tipples, steel mm. guitar, things like that. He's got a silver finger, too. Has he? Yeah, I just... Oh, just yeah, 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 he yeah. has. <laughs> That's his slide. <laughs> right. Thank you very much indeed. Have we decided what we're going to play? Yeah, or not? It's just about to come in up. It's mm. Is it? Well, it's oh, called good. Leeds United. And well, that's going to upset everybody else, of course, from other football clubs. No, no, because it's no. not about football. It's not, not about football. No, if no. you listen to the lyrics, it's more about kind of communities getting together and mm. instead of rioting and things like that. Okay, right. I don't want no. to get into one of my speeches because I bought everybody some yes, tears. Yes, I don't, I don't want so any I'll of that. So you go over to the microphone mm. and uh, Chris is all tuned up. <laughs> He's yeah? playing this on the wrong guitar, so it sounds a bit weird. <laughs> it is a bit weird. Yeah. Okay, this is called Leeds United from the Rhythm Sisters. <laughs> Sunday, a broken piece of 
Excellent. <clears throat> do you feel better now? I do. do Sit down. I'll take a weight off your feet. You want to do love bites. I see. She wants to do love bites. We'll uh, take a break. We'll be back with some calls from Chris, Mark, and another Chris after this. Work cut out now because when you have, you know, when you have people in the pop business in the studio, I mean, I make it a rule unless they're real. Shut up. I make it a rule unless they're really, you know, Cliff Richard, Elton John, all that sort of thing. I don't, I don't, um, and then Parkinson can have them after I've uh, done the interview. In fact, <coughs> I saw... Oh, no, never mind, right. Uh, no, but no, 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 it's been name-dropping. I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to bother. I uh, I like the girls are coming, but, of course, now they're getting nearly... You know, they're up there, they're in the Sunday Times, they've got T-shirts made by DNA. They've got all the sort of... Nothing. They've got all the, all the sort of trappings of stardom. They just have to be sort of manipulated a little more forcefully. Because uh, don't you find this... He's very quiet. Yeah, I've told to keep quiet because I say... Because it'll get an extra effect. Really? <laughs> That's not, you see, you're, not, you're being nasty again. I'm, yeah. You've yeah. changed. I've got no, to... No, you haven't. Do they need marketing these sort of chatterbooks? No, no, no. I think uh, everybody is fine. Oh, oh, dear. I think I'll clear the studio in a minute. Everybody will go. Where, where have you played? At the university. At the university? And the yeah. And the poly. Yeah. Broken next stairways. Really? Oh, God, yeah. So they've, they've played, they've played, you'll have to go and, and see them, you see, yeah. Chris. Well, I mean, do you like Up and Running? Have you heard of Up and Running? Have you heard of Up and Running? Who you were through the crowd? Do you know Jagsy Dodd? No. No. Phil Jones and Alex McConey. Thomas Lang. Thomas, Thomas Lang. Lang. Have you heard of Tom Thomas Lang? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah? Good yeah. mate. Good. Have we got over that now? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. Is that it? Well, I don't know. Anything I else? I haven't got anything on your mind I can talk about. I'm a bit bored here. You know, I'm on my own. 
Oh dear, what a shame. Chris is on his own. Well, anything else? Do you, I can't. I'm not into small. Do you want to chat to him? Chris. Call Chris. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? Well, that's what I was hoping you could tell me. You know, I'm a bit kind of lonely right now. You're lonely. Yeah. What's wrong? Girlfriend left you. No, I left her, but um. <laughs> well, it's your, your own fault. You on your own. <laughs> well, yeah, I know, but we're still feeling the effects, you know. You should have been out on the town and picked up another one by now. Well, it was only. Please. <laughs> I guess. Sorry, you control <laughs> Dear me. Just talk in my mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I, you see what you're doing, Chris? You, you, you really, it's not, not on, is it? I suppose not, no. It's not on. Thank you for your call, Chris. Oh, I do. Bye. Bye. Mark, hello. No, no, no. Uh, I'm a scooterist. I'm a scooterist. And why do councils try their damnedest to stop me going to seaside resorts? Quadrophenia. <laughs> yeah, you've got it in one, Darren. Quadrophenia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Darren. That's it. You know the uh, the story of the uh, the the who's. For, I mean, it, that's it. It ruined it for all scooterists, basically, <laughs> didn't it? That was it. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, Can commute. Ma Ma Mar Marion. Yeah, Ma could I tell you once again somehow? <laughs> Who is Richard Mother again? Yeah. <laughs> Mother, get off the phone. Shut up. <laughs> you lot get knotted and shut up. Go sit I down to somewhere. I, I won't dispute it because I've seen Are you lot there to kiss his feet? Nothing to do with it. They've seen you, Margaret. They've seen, I know the rough sisters have. Yeah, where the do they call them? The rough sisters. What do they call them now? The rough the Rhythm Sisters. Oh, the Rhythm Sisters. I it's all, it it's all on account of the fact they're good Catholic girls. Catholic? Oh, Did you make that joke? Uh, I said they're called the Rhythm Sisters on account they're all good Catholic girls, but never mind if they just slip. Yeah, back. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Right, okay, now. <laughs> There's a bit more, but I have to stop to take breath. There's some more, but I have to stop to take breath. Will you do me a favour, Margaret? What's <laughs> that? Send us the book. <laughs> oh, kid, it's... I'm phone to her friends tonight. She's been doing her nails. <laughs> I mean, you can't believe it. And now she's talking to me while I'm talking to her. Now she's going, yeah, 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 in one ear, saying, me, 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 me. Drives me insane. 25 to 1, Red Rose and Air Whaley and the Rhythm Sisters. Now, we've lost one. Relieving right. herself at the toilet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. We're going Things like that, because... Swim. I, I don't know. I never worry about things like that, because, I mean, it's the same well, with people saying about, about car, a anyway. car accidents, mm. um... Things like that. You don't worry about, you just live for the moment and worry about... Uh, well, yeah, right. you, you've got to do it, so why worry about mm. it? Mm. I don't worry travelling on the Iran air or anything like that. I just worry about travelling on American airlines, because mm. America's full of such crap. Mm. That they're liable to strike anything at any time. I mean, no offence, but I don't agree with anything that was just said just then. You know, I think it's despicable what America did. I'm not going to pursue it because it's your programme, but I thought it was despicable. <laughs> and I may merely make the point I would never travel on an American aircraft. That's what scare yeah. me, stupid. <clears throat> because you just never know what they are going to do. Yeah, but you can't honestly believe that they would have shot it down on purpose. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know quite what to believe. All I know, all I know I believe, mm. I wouldn't wish to speculate because I'm just sitting in a studio in Leeds. Mm. All I do know is that I just get increasingly more sickened uh, the amount of life that is wasted by the American nation mm -hmm. in terms of all sorts of justification uh, and after a while it just stops making sense and you just sit back and uh, you know I'm trying to avoid cliches here but you're just appalled at what they're doing, I mean what they're doing in Nicaragua, I'm not going to get on to that but that just scares me stupid mm -hmm. We've had our political point for your brother again, I knew it wouldn't be long before <laughs> we got it. Shall we, uh, shall we go on to the song? Shall we, on to the song, on to the song now. Can we go from, can yeah. we go from this to the song? Okay. It does mean the cigarettes have to go out. Mummy can tell you what it's all about. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. The whole thing about this one is <laughs> that it's all about falling in love with pop stars and things like that, because we really fell in love with a band called mm. Magnus. Mm. We used to really, really love them and follow them all over the place. Madness. Madness, yeah, we really love them. You're not on this one, are you? No, no, I've made my point. <laughs> Bill's going to die in the corner. It knocks it out of his face. Yeah, it's all about things like that. It's very tongue-in-cheek. OK, all right. It must be with madness. <laughs> Would my heart see ten today?
You see, if I was, uh, I, 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 could, I could be flash, I could say, there we are, a live session on the show tonight for us, especially by the Rhythm Sisters and Brother, oh, and Chris, and Chris, who, who gets forgotten. Actually, uh, they used to have a whole band, but the Brother is so tight, talking, you know, making his political points earlier, he just wanted the money, he sacked them all, never mind about full employment, he got rid of the whole lot. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> sorry, Chris, what was that? It doesn't even pay him. Oh, that's, uh, that is awful. That is awful. But it's not true. But no. Girls, lots of lots of success. That's, those Thank are great. You. The new songs are lovely. I hope, Thank you. I, I, I hope that other people catch on. I'm sure they will. I mean, wherever you go, people love mm. you and they invite you back. Yeah. yeah. It's just a question of, I suppose, going Here's from being in the times to being in the sun, isn't it, really? <laughs> and then when you've made that, that's it. Mm. Yeah, uh, very of, true. I mean, wherever I've, we travel, we have a great time anyway, mm. and the people are brilliant who turn up for the gig. Great. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God, what, you what? go to Warrington, don't you? Yeah. We're in Warrington on Friday night. You're in Warrington on Friday night? Yeah, and Sheffield mm. Saturday night. Well, we, Warrington Sheffield? Legends yeah. and Sheffield Lead Mill. Okay, so we want yeah. people in Warrington to go <laughs> along <laughs> to... Uh, and DNA. Legends <laughs> and people in Sheffield <laughs> to go along... To the, the lead mill and uh, see the rhythm sisters. You can get in touch with me. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, girls. Thank you. We'll take another break. Man, yeah. Four months. Or so. Four months. Well, yeah, so yeah. a lot of people have never been to Harvard at all no. for four months. You should get. People don't even know where it is. <laughs> of course they do. Ah. It's in London, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's in London. It's in London. <laughs> Harvard. He should have one of those cardigans with his initials on the front. <laughs> I do. It's in the wash. <laughs> it was made by DNA. <laughs> wish I hadn't bothered now, wish I hadn't bothered. Right, Stevie, hello. Robert. That was really, that was really, really good. good. Really yeah. Yeah. Very good. I thought I was dragging on a bit. That was very good. You've done that before. Have you heard of Craig Davis? Sorry? Have you heard of Craig Davis? No, I've never. It's from Salford. It's from Salford. Yeah. It sounds very much like it. It's really good. Oh, I'll check. Hey? Oh, I wrote it myself, that one. That's you, really you wrote good. it yourself as well? Yeah. It's really good, great. I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to get into it at the moment, actually, but uh, Have you done I don't know how to go about it. No, you I don't know how to start, like. I've just, just seen it all writing a few songs and trying to get into it. Yeah. You should um, write off to a few places and try to get a few gigs. Well, I... Um, what do you think? Send, send off your tape to a few places, like... Uh, just make a tape. Just at all. One in 12 in Bradford. 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 Seriously, I'm not pulling your leg. Yeah. You, be, you go down really well there. It's a what? good club as well. So what do you do then? Huh? Just send a tape and some you know, info can't, down. Can't t talking too much longer. But if you go to 1 in 12, send the tape to 1 in 12 Club Bradford, it'll get there. Okay. And then I'll get back in touch with you. But well done, sir. Well done. Yeah. Well done. It's very thank good. Mate Jason for holding the phone for me as well. I beg your pardon? I'd like to thank we made Jason for holding the phone for me. Oh yeah, thank Jason All for right. holding the phone while he was yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Flashy, James. Did you get the did you get the address? Send it to the one in twelve club in Bradford, a tape and some 
information about yourself and they'll get in touch with you. The 1 in 12 Club in Bradford. OK. Smashes, that's right, James. What was the address? Uh, 1 in 12 Club Bradford, it'll get there. Yeah. Everybody knows 1 in 12. It says Superb Club in Bradford. OK. Good. Smashes, thanks a lot, James. Bye, Steve. Right on. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, that was very nice of you. I mean, usually when people come on this programme before and they've been very good, you've had them cut off. I mean, that's... <laughs> 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 it was, wasn't it? It sounded American. Yeah. Yeah. Chill. No, not at all. But they, but Max and Danny, who who were there, were rather rather concerned that they've been in the bog quite a long time. It's about five hours, and they still haven't come out. This is what they're telling me. I hate to tell them they probably did a runner. But, so, uh, you know, if girls, if you're still in there, it's okay. They've gone. You can come out now. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> their, their little faces. Their little faces. They've been... They're depressed, aren't they? Eh? they yeah, they are very depressed. <laughs> they, are. they don't look too happy anyway. They're not, no, no. Nobody can make any judging judgment about it because I don't mm. think we know no. the true ins and outs of it anyway. Yeah, until there has been some kind of investigation. Whatever the investigation proves, mo you know, people are not going to believe it. So it, it, it's a tragedy that should never have happened. But then, you know, war is going to be a tragedy. Where you're going to have a war, unfortunately, people are going to get killed and quite often it's innocent people who suffer. It's all right and glib for us to say so after the event. But it really should come as no surprise to anybody that people get killed when missiles, guns and things that are being thrown around like they are. Yeah, but you it's, know? It, I mean, it's like the girl said before, it's not, well, like you say as well, it's not after the event, uh, before the event, it's, we're paying towards it, you know what I mean? I mean, we're paying in our taxes and everything to... Yeah, well, life is hard. As the Americans say, life is hard and then you die. Thank you very much indeed. And that, I'm afraid, uh, is the end of the story as far as the programme is concerned tonight, girls. Thank you very much indeed for coming yes. in. And uh, we'll see you again when you've um, done a bit more and... Yeah. Good? Anytime. Travelled a bit further and Done me a few again. new jingles. <laughs> Anytime. Great. Yep. And keep him under control, all right? <laughs> we try to, we try to. Oh, we try. It's hard work. <laughs> and as for you two, fancy not surrounding the place, putting somebody round the back sitting there for an hour. I can't believe it. That's it. Hopefully, Touchwood Thursday. I'll be back 10 o'clock tonight on Red Rose and Air. But from all of us in the studio tonight and to uh, everybody that's been on the phone as well, James Well wishing you a very good night and uh, have a nice Thursday. Ian Calvert is on Red Rose. Adrian Green is on Radio Air. I'm James Well. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.